In the previous lesson, we learned some tricks we can employ as operating system designers for optimizing the RPC communication software, which powers client-server communication in a local area network from the point of view of reducing communication latency. Of course, user interactions go beyond the local area network to the wide area internet. The primary issue, once a packet leaves your local node, is to route the packet reliably and quickly to the destination. Routing is part of the functionality of the network layer of the protocol stack of an operating system. What happens to a packet once it leaves your node? Well, the intermediate hardware routers between your node and the destination have routing tables that help them to move the packet towards the desired destination node by doing a table lookup. The routing tables evolve over time since the internet itself is evolving continually. That's the big picture, and there are lots of fascinating details which you can learn in a course that is dedicated to computer networking. For the next part of the lesson on distributed systems, we want to ask the question, what can be done in the intermediate routers to accommodate the quality of service needs of individual packet flows through the network? Or in other words, can we make the routers en route to the destination smart? The specific thought experiment we are going to discuss is called active networks. At the end, we will connect the dots from active networks to the current state of the art, which is referred to as software-defined networking. Thus far in the course, we've been focusing on specializing operating system services for a single processor or a multi-core or a parallel system or a locally in a network. In this lesson, we will take this idea of specializing to the wide area network. Specifically, we will study the idea of providing quality of service for network communication in an operating system by making the network active. 